what Marxists understood, Tim, is that to the extent that they wanted to inject their ideology into the American society, they were having a very hard time doing it because the culture that existed in America was very antithetical to the communist worldview. How does cultures persist? Cultures persist generationally through children. You instill and impart your culture to your children and then they carry it on into the future. And so what the Marxists resolved to do is that if we can get into the culture of the children, if we can, in a sense, cause them to rebel against the adult generation, to reject the culture of the adult generation, we can inject our worldview into the youth to where the trajectory of our country is completely different. And so when you look at second wave feminism in the 60s, when you look at the hippie movement in the 60s, when you look at the free love movement in the 60s, when you look at the civil rights movement, when you look at the black militant movement, all of these are rebellious to the adult generation of the 60s. And what they were able to do was to demoralize a culture to where they are adopting this kind of new worldview to the extent to where today, more young people under the age of 30 are embracing socialism than any other youth generation before in this country. That goes to show that what Yuri Bezmenov talks about actually played out the way that he described it. And so, yes, th this is something that has taken place in our country. Uncle Tom 2 describes it in a very palatable way, in a way that no other film that I've seen have been able to, to, to break it down.